Central Plus 7 rounds of hardcore kickboxing action. I'm Michael Chabello ringside with the hammer Mark Castanini and the time for talk is over. Hammer, here we go. In your weight division, the cruiserweights and Steve McKinnon opens up the big inside leg kick. Well, have a look at him go and how pumped is this crowd? Everyone's right behind Steve McKinnon and that's got to be good for him. You but can the cut Kiwis the other with a knife, Hammer, it is electric. Well, I tell you what, this is one too tough Kiwi. I've been told, have a look out for him. Scotty Dunnett undefeated in 13 fights. Steve McKinnon undefeated in 12 fights. Both men applying the pressure early on. There is no feeling out process. They're just all hard. Let's hold guts and determination. Well, McKinnon wore a straight right hand to the bridge of the nose and fired back. There's a front kick off the right leg. Scotty Dunnett checks the inside thigh kick. Good gut munching front kick there from McKinnon. The man from the Bulldog gym train by Nick Stone. Well, McKinnon using those uh, kicks and hands, overlapping nicely, bringing up the front kick, hands over the top of that. He's putting it together at the moment, Steve McKinnon. Steve McKinnon is the hot favourite for this fight. But Scotty Dunnett has come here to knock out McKinnon. His trainer said he'd do it. Scotty Thompson from their gym in Napier. Oh, the leg kick! The leg kick! Oh, just a bit of a slip there from the Kiwi. I'll tell you what, Hammer, I can feel this one here just going bananas. It might soon be time to take the voice beyond the threshold of pain. They tie up in the neutral corner. McKinnon well, can perhaps sense the world title, but it's not going to come easy, Hammer. Well, what, uh, what great action we're, uh, we're uh, seeing right here now and enjoying the action. He's always the boys from the whiskey bar down there in Melbourne. They're always telling me they're loving it. Jack, Tosco, Rob, Perry, they're always there, always supporting the fight game, as do many, many people that uh, watch our broadcast. Michael, I'd like to thank them all for the uh, continued support. All of you watching right around the country, hope you're enjoying the action from Club Marconi, Julie Levette from Maury. Hope you're enjoying it, Julie. Step up front kick there from Steve McKinnon, shooting towards the world title, shooting towards world fame. End of the first round and Hammer, we go to the towels. How do you see it? What a cracker jack first round, and I'd have to say, McKinnon uh, probably uh, just landed a, a few more nice clean shots. His legs were working, and you have to remember, you've got to score the kicks higher than the punches. So if he's uh, throwing those leg attacks and they're getting through the guard, they've got to be paying those. So first round up, I'm saying McKinnon's got it just because he was busier with the legs and uh, had him working in. You see the boys, uh, the overhead camera view, as uh, they're trading punches. Hands and feet just working continuously. And that's the mark of uh, well-prepared fighters right there. Again, McKinnon just chopping out the supporting leg there of, uh, of Dunnett. But uh, Dunnett, he wasn't hurt. It was just a bit of a slip, but... Uh, by, uh, or given a bit of a helping hand by the uh, chopping inside thigh right. Especially the right midsection, right. mate. Right. 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 Round two. Are we are ready to get it on the second round. Actually, this one's scheduled for seven. WKBF Cruiserweight World Strap on the line. Billy Sauler set to Sunderway. It's Australia versus New Zealand. The Aussie Steve McKinnon against the Kiwi. The man from the island of the long white cloud, Scott Dunnett. Good inside leg kick there from McKinnon. McKinnon just charging forward with the high left round kick. Good outside thigh kick from McKinnon. Here comes the pain! Scotty Dunnett just turns him around in the blue corner. A very cagey fighter, Scott Dunnett from New Zealand Hammer. Well, he's, he's uh, had his guard up luckily because those... Oh, the big uppercut! Kicks. The big uppercut! The big uppercut rocked him! He fell like an oak tree! I'll tell you what, Michael, he was certainly caught with that one. Is that a bit of the Kiwi? Watch McKinnon go now right off the break. Here comes Steve McKinnon. He's going to go ahead, aren't he? Scotty Dunnett's going to take a trip down the boulevard of broken dreams. Steve McKinnon has opened this round like a house on fire. Scotty Dunnett just taking a slip from the inside leg kick. Hammer, this place is going bananas. Scotty Dunnett plants a nice right hand to the jaw. Dunnett goes down. Well, Steve McKinnon's leg kick's Stop taking their toll on the Kiwi. High right round kick, right hand combination there from Steve McKinnon. A gut munching front kick, three punch combination. The big right hand, the big good night Irene. Well, how tough is the Kiwi? I'll tell you what, some of those, those right hands that McKinnon's throwing would have taken a lesser fighter out easily. Oh, here comes McKinnon, all guns blazing. He is launching the heavy artillery now. High right round kick from Dunnett. McKinnon goes downstairs, then goes upstairs. Dunnett's head rocks back again from the throws of another right hand. His nose is bleeding. McKinnon sticks him again with the right hand. Dunnett drops the left hand down to the bread basket, trying to dance around with the balls of his feet, but it's not going to work for him. 
Well done. It's got to start throwing some technique out. He's just uh, letting uh, McKinnon dictate totally the uh, the rules of this fight. Another chopping leg kick and another from Steve McKinnon. Scotty Dunnett has absorbed more than a sponge in this round. There it is, Hammer. How do you see it? Well, McKinnon, McKinnon, McKinnon. Hey, what more can I say? He's just totally uh, blitzed the Scotty Dunnett, but take nothing away from Scotty Dunnett. He's a, he's a tough competitor. He's come over from New Zealand with big wraps, and it's only the uh, the reason that uh, McKinnon's been so well prepared for this fight. Anyone could be in there with McKinnon, uh, I believe, and he would be doing it really, really hard because Steve McKinnon is certainly switched on here tonight. There you see McKinnon just chopping the supporting leg out of Dunnett. He had him in the corner, saw that the uh, the, guard, the uh, leg check had gone up too high. Bang, took out the supporting leg. Big right hand, balk, balk leg kick, big right hand over the top of that. And uh, uh, I'm just really big wraps for uh, Steve McKinnon here tonight. He's, he's looking the good. But he's tiring, but you're leaving him open. I don't want you to leave him open. to rumble in the third round chance go up for Steve McKinnon one fan shout out McKinnon power that's all we've seen so far for two rounds Billy Saunders gets us underway let's listen into the sounds of the round as Steve McKinnon perhaps shoots for a world title McKinnon is just doing a total number here on Scott Dunnett. And also a big hello to uh, Nick Carroll, the boys at Malvern Martial Arts. Clyde and uh, all the gang down there. You could hear the ferocity behind the blows of Steve McKinnon as we listened into the sounds of the round. McKinnon just getting his right chin pad adjusted. Billy Sewers gets us back underway. And this is the third round. McKinnon the inside leg kick. Scotty Dunn has taken more knocks to the front door. Dunner tries to tie him up, but McKinnon is a man obsessed, a man possessed, a man on a demolition mission. Dunner's got him back in the neutral corner. What can he do? The Kiwi. But Dunner again finds a canvas. A late blow. Well, oh, it's just a little bit late, that one on McKinnon. But, uh, What's Billy Sullivan going to do? The doctor's stepping in. This one's going to be over now. This one's going to be over now. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. We have a new Australian world champion his name steve mckinnon well mckinnon just uh, as i said from the outset went at full throttle and didn't give uh, the, the kiwi a chance to uh, to find his mark or get comfortable in centering he just totally overwhelmed him from the outset and uh, it was only a matter of time but uh, i'll tell you what a more deserved uh, champ you won't find and uh, steve mckinnon there you see him just uh, pegged on it right in the corner there He'll catch him right here. Got him with the hook. Done it. Done it. Went down. A bit of a late one there from uh, McKinnon. Shame about that because I would have liked to have seen him uh, clean up the uh, the end of that fight a lot uh, a lot tidier. But nevertheless.